Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Bringing you another fly time video this week. This week I'm tying a streamer pattern. Um, this streamer pattern, I'm going to fish it kind of like a wet fly. I'm going to fish it on the swing every now and then, give it a little strip or just a little bump with my fly. I mean with my rod. I'll just twitch my rod a little bit to give it some movement. But this is a pattern that I actually was out fishing yesterday with. And uh, I broke one of my cardinal rules of fly tying. And that is when I tie something, usually I sit down and tie a dozen of something, at least a half a dozen on like maybe a streamer like this where it takes a little bit more time. I only tie a half dozen, but I at least tie six or six or eight. And uh, I only had one in my box for some reason. I think I might have shared this on social media before, just tied one for fun. And I uh, only had one, and of course I lost it right away. So I had to come home and tie some more of it. I caught some fish on it, then I lost it, and was kind of mad because it was the only one in my box. So rule of thumb for me, tie multiples of them so you have some in your box. Now I have some laying here on my bench. But um, it's a fun tie. It catches fish. Like I said, I swing it behind my wet flies. This is my bottom fly on my wet fly rig. And kind of what it acts like is it's chasing the fl the wet fly in front of it. So kind of gives it a little competition for the trout, makes them trigger on the little streamer, you know, or catch the eye of the wet fly, you know, get the wet fly before the mini gets it. So it's a great technique to use when you're swinging wets, put a streamer at the end of your fly. It works great. Anyways, guys, enough talking. I'll talk a little bit more at the end, but here's the fly and then the material list to tie it. Okay, here you see the turkey tail streamer in the vise. Let's get into tying it. For a hook, I'm using a Daiichi 2220. This is a size 10. Size 10 is a good size for a small, small streamer, small trout streamer. For thread, I'm using um, 140 denier black. You can use like a 70 denier or some fly 12 watt nano silk, something like that. That would be great too. Okay, right now I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to show you how I make my tail and wing for this fly. All right, guys, I want to show you real quick how I do the wing and tail section on this. What I'm going to use for it is turkey tail. And you can see there, this is a center tail. And how you know it's a center tail is the, both sides are the same equal width. Um, grab another one here. You can see on this tail... This side is really, really long from the center shaft. Here's the center shaft of the feather. This side is like this long, where this side is only this long. So you can see this is actually, it would be his left, the turkey's left side of the tail, whereas this one is from the center. It's more equal distance. So you want to find a center section, and uh, so you can cut equal sections off of it. And if you look real close here, you can see how I've been equally cutting sections off. So I'm going to do that real quick. So I'm going to cut a section off the right side and then the left. And you can see there as I pull them off, they're both equal sections. And just pull them off the sides. Now I'm going to take these and I'm going to put them back side of the feather. So you can see this is the dull side and then there's like a shiny side here. The shiny side is the bottom side. This dull, nicely colored side is going to be out. And then the dull side is going to be turned in. So I'm just going to put them together, dull side to dull side or bottom to bottom. Pinch them together and then rub them together in my hand and get them. Let me get this right here. I want tip to tip, as you see here, I'm going to match up tip to tip, and then I'm going to continue on with the rest of the tie. Okay, now I'm going to take that married tail there, the two pieces stuck together, tip to tip, you know, backside to backside, and I'm going to hold it on top of my fly. I'm going to get it the length I want for a tail there. Oh, 
a little bit longer than the hook gap just not a whole lot longer but slightly longer than my hook gap and i'm going to switch and i'm going to switch fingers and pinch it off the back end so then i'm going to bring my thread up and then down and pinch it in between my fingers and i'm going to let go of it and let the weight of the bobbin pull down on it okay can do that about twice and then i'm just going to tease the front side here up a little bit and then make a couple a little bit harder wraps and that should get me that'll keep me from pinching when i pull it up on here and do a couple loose wraps and then tight wraps so once i get it where i wanted then i'm gonna make some tighter wraps and wrap it back to where i want just to, just past right about where the barb of the hook is now i want to build up just a little bit of body with this so i'm gonna wrap down that turkey tail and it, if it wraps around that's fine i'm just getting a little bit thicker not much but just slightly thicker cut that off and throw that aside and then get that wrapped down nice and even now try not to wrap over my tail or it'll pinch and make it look weird Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a piece of red brassy wire, ultra wire. And I'm just going to start it out on the side or it ended up on the bottom here. That's fine. Just cover that up. Cover it the whole way up the side there. Then I'm going to use some hollow tinsel. This is gold size medium. And I'm going to put that on there. And wrap it back there to my tail. All right, now we're gonna wrap this forward and I put this on my bobbin and I'm gonna use my rotary vise here and just wrap this up quick. So we're just gonna side by side wraps, try not to leave any gaps. If you do, that's fine. Go back over it. And then just wrap this gold tinsel the whole way up. To so get it up there to the eye. Oops. Just gonna tie it off a couple wraps. And then cut off my tinsel. Now I'm gonna come in with my rib and I'm gonna rib this forward. And this will just secure that tinsel and give it a little extra color. Make nice even spaced wraps. And then tie it off. Okay, now just like we did the tail, we're gonna do the wing on this fly. Except I'm gonna use a little bit wider piece. You can see my tail is that wide, my wing is a little bit wider. So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna pinch, the, pinch it at the head, get it where I want it, and I don't want it to go past the tail, I want it to kind of taper with the tail. So once I get it where I like it, I'm gonna hold it on top, switch fingers, and I'm going to switch fingers right, you can see the eye sticking out there. So I'm going to bring my thread up through my fingers and back down and let the weight of the bobbin pull it down. Oops, I missed the bottom side there. So I'm going to do that two or three times and keep tension on the front here. Every now and then I'll just lift this front piece up. And then I'm going to wrap back slowly. And there you see that makes my wing out over the back side and it doesn't crunch it up too much. So just twist it around, get it where you need it on top and then trim the, trim the front side off. All right, then just gonna finish this head up nice here. And now we're gonna put a little, uh, little beard on it here. So I'm gonna take some brown hen hackle I'm going to strip some fibers off the brown hen hackles. And this is going to be, this is going to go underneath my fly. It's going to be a little collar down here on the bottom. We're just going to hold it right on the bottom, pull it up in tight, and then trim off the butts. Last thing I'm going to do, and this is just for my purpose because I have some, you don't have to do this. You can use synthetic ones if you'd like, but I have some real jungle cock laying around. So I'm just going to add a jungle cock eye on each side. I'm going to start on my side first. Just 
Gonna place it where I want it, make a couple wraps. And then I'll come in with the other one. This is totally unnecessary, but it just kind of gives it that classic look. So put this on the other side. Get a couple wraps down there where I want it, and then finish the head off nice. I'm going to trim the little tags off. couple wraps to clean this up and then whip finish. There we go. And then I like to finish my streamers off with a little bit of some kind of head cement. For me, I use solar res bone dry because it works really quick and you know, I'm doing like commercial style tying. I want things done now. So that's why I use the UV glues like Solar Res Bone Dry. Oops. Just hit it with the light, give it a couple seconds, and it's gold. And there you have the turkey tail streamer. This was working for me this week. All right, guys. Hope you liked that video. This is a cool pattern. Um, for sure, you do not need the jungle cock eyes. If you do want to use them, we sell some synthetic jungle cock eyes from Semperfly. They work really great. They're really nice. And uh, we have some really small ones too that would work great for this pattern. So give them a try if you really want to use that um, look. Or you could also um, put little living eyes on there. Fish skull living eyes. That would work great. Or paint them on the head. Whatever you want to do. Have fun. But by no means do you need eyes on this fly. It'll work just great without them. Have fun tying, guys. Um, experiment. Try different things. Change the body color on it. Whatever you want. Tie it bigger. You can definitely tie it bigger to match a bigger, bigger mini in your water. But this definitely works in this size. Have fun. And if you need any of the materials, like always, please head over to our website at wholesingersflyshop.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next week when I bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger.